So today we got a little bit to do. This baby, we're actually going to get ready and we're going to seal her and take away her shine. So I thought I'd bring you guys along for the process. I'm by no means a professional. I just do this for fun. Are you ready? Are you ready to get rid of that shine, girl? Just a reminder, if you're looking for miniature clothes, her mom makes miniature clothes. I've put her link in the description below. It's sewing dot in, like the letter in, dot and stuff. So you can find her sewing in stuff, but there's just a period in between each word. And she ships worldwide, you won't be disappointed. Her clothing stuff is very cute, and there is no detail left undone. We're gonna go ahead and undress her. You guys can see the overalls have little snaps right there. So nice. All right, and I believe her name is Polly Ravioli, uh, is her name. So like, Polly Pocket, how cute is that? Thank you guys for all the suggestions with the names. Seems like her mom found one right away for her. Oh, and here's the onesie that she made for her as well. Little snap there. Comes off very nice. Very cute. Very cute. And that's all we're going to show because you don't have a diaper on and that would just not be appropriate. Now we need to get her washed up. She's a little too big with the little chair in here, so we're going to take this off. Oh, perfect. Getting her all washed up. So the matting will stick to her. She's got to be nice and clean. Oh, look at that little baby booty. Look at those little feet. Aw, oh, she's been such a good little baby. You having a good time in your bath there, Polly? Yeah, it's a lot of fun, isn't it? Now we got to dry her off well. And I'm using a paper towel so it doesn't really get any lint stuck to her because she's going to be sticky. And then, um, yeah, I don't want things sticking to her. I am going to be taking out her eyes for this process so she doesn't get any silicone on them when I seal her. All right, so I got my product. I use Psycho Paints A and B, and you use equal parts and mix it together. But you want to clean your brush before um, putting it into the other one. And a little bit does go a long way on these guys. I tend to always over make on my uh, silicone. So <clears throat> let me just clean this off here. Now I'm gonna mix in part B, uh, equal amount. Equal amount, you know, you gotta just eyeball what you put in the first, first time, really. Okay, so I think I got about the same. And then they don't activate until you mix them together. So once they're mixed together, that's when your time starts ticking on its cure time. And that's about two hours, if the temperature is allowing it all depends upon the temperature normally I use a plate but um I'm out of those right now so I'm using this glass I always recommend I use glass or porcelain plates then I take my cosmetic sponge this is how I do it like I said I'm not a professional this is what I do uh, and we are gonna just coat the baby I do front and then I do the back so I do the front and then I go and do my and then I go and powder it and I let it cure. Just making sure we're not showing too much of the baby's uh, private area. But yeah, so you're just gonna coat it real thin, real thin, all over, all over. And when you have a thin coat all over, you're gonna go powder it. Now we're gonna sprinkle this powder on there. Silicone Art Materials Finishing Powder. And um, this is what's gonna take away the shine. So it, it binds with the silicone. And then she won't have shine anymore. No, no, no. Oh yeah, don't forget to wear your mask while doing this. You don't want to breathe this stuff. So now she's done. She's going to hang out right there for the next 
couple hours. She might be done sooner than that though, because it is pretty hot outside. See, we're recording from in the garage. I do this in the garage. I got the garage open, mask on. I ain't breathing this stuff. We are back, but back with two babies. I decided to take away Tater Tot's shine as well because he was a shiny boy. So he's good to go. And now we need to put Polly's eyes back in her head. All right, let's let's put these in here. One eye. Oh, there we go. That wasn't too much pain now, was it? Now time for eye number two. Right in there. There we are. Look at her. She's got her eyes back. And she has no more shine. How awesome is that? Let's go ahead and get both of these babies dressed. Now, both of these babies are from, I believe, Bayside. So they have the same type of silicone. It's not as floppy as um, Dumpling, but they are a lot of fun. They're super cute. At least this one's from Bayside. This one might be from the company that starts with a Q. Um, but they're so freaking cute. Um, I love Tater Tot. I'm so happy that I decided to take a shine off of him. Because honestly, I, uh, well, yeah, I wasn't messing with him because of the shine. And I, I personally like Tater Tot a bit more than Small Fry. Small Fry's a crybaby. And I just see Tater Tot being a little bit more active on my channel, like how Dumpling is. I think he's so adorable. Thank you again, Georgina, for this gift. Um, he's such a sweet little baby. And he wears 8-inch size clothing. I think he's like a seven inch or yeah, he's like an eight inch guy. He's in an eight inch sleeper. So he's an eight inch little guy. And we got a little hat right here to um, put on him. Oh my god. Oh, it's inside out. Slip that the right way out. Oh my goodness. Look at that little tater tot. Oh, he is just too adorable. Now let's see how this baby gets dressed in. Um, Elisa's clothes. We haven't seen the clothes with a diaper. And this is a micro preemie diaper. Fits her pretty nice. I like how it's fitting her. So we're going to slip on her onesie. She's going to be a lot easier to dress now because when they have their matting powder, they are a lot easier to dress. Um, they're just, when they're tacky, it just sticks to everything and it makes it no fun. There she is with the onesie. Oh my gosh, the little diaper coming out the leg. How cute, little diaper bot. That's so adorable. Then there's a little headband that she's made to go with the outfit as well. It's made out of the same um, onesie material. Oh my gosh, how adorable. Okay, I love it. So cute. Sorry, my, my fingers are big. Okay. Oh my gosh, look at her. She is so precious. Time for the final piece. I think the entire set is going to fit very well with the diaper. So now you guys know that um, clothes by Elisa can, you can put a preemie diaper on there. Well, the micro preemie diaper. It's got enough room. It's not too tight. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love it. It's got little buttons right there. Here we go, how cute. Oh my goodness, this one, this, I love the overall set. Oh, that is so sweet. Baby Tater Tot is so hungry. He had such a long day. He was not expecting to have a uh, makeover. Now I'm thinking that he needs some little eyelashes. Don't you think you'd be so adorable with some little tiny eyelashes? I'm going to see if Jackie can root him some. He is just so handsome. Okay, now we need to get little Miss Polly and feed her. There she is. No more shine. Her mommy's going to be so excited. She did not like the shine. And look at her. Now she's shine free. We have this cute baby bottle. It's got a little vintage baby on there. Yeah, it's got some milk in there for her. Oh, look at her. She's so hungry. What a good little eater she is. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Just know that any of you can do matting on your own babies. You can get the silicone on Amazon. 
The powder, I say Google it because everybody has different prices and some places have better prices than others. But having a matted baby does make it much more enjoyable when it comes to the silicones. They're easier to dress and then they don't look all sweaty. Or we like to call that shiny. Remember to stay safe, stay positive, and don't give it to those negative energies. Rise above it and find the light. We love you guys so much. Have a great day. Bye. Thank you.